Parade is back on Broadway, the revival starring Michaela Diamond and Tony Award winner Ben Platt. It's as timely as ever. Let's send it out to Paul Wontorek. Thanks, Tamsin. Before Michaela Diamond wowed audiences on Broadway, she attended LaGuardia High School and was a theater enthusiast just like her fans. I took a stroll with her to Parade to find out more. Michaela, it's so good to see you. You too. We made it through a pandemic and you're back on Broadway. Everything's fine with the world. We are going to walk through some iconic sort of spots for you. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to start here. This is Fiorello H. LaGuardia High School. Long title. Of music and art and performing arts. Not the airport. Or the fame school. <laughs> That's sure. not really a thing anymore though. If you're Don't... not humble, <laughs> you call it the fame school. Were there any like uh, iconic performing moments here for you? Um, what kind of started it, what, or at least got me my agent, which then got me my share audition, was Gypsy. I played Louise, and it was, I you know, heard. So you did fun. that here? Yeah. You stripped in this building. I stripped in that building. So you get cast as Louise in Gypsy, which is a great role. Yeah. She transforms. Arc for days. Total arc. Yeah. It ended up leading to getting a big gig. Yeah. That's amazing. Crazy. Hey, look, that's the New York Public Library, Library of Performing Arts, and you, I believe, hung out in the theater on film and tape. It's a small little room on yeah. like the third floor or something, and you're like, you walk in and you're like, I've never seen TVs this small, <laughs> and you wear very large headphones. <laughs> yes. But you get to watch all these, you know, you get to watch the original bootlegs. What were like your go-to tapes? Do you think you really remember like digging into here? My Fair Lady, weird one, funny girl. Which funny girl? What do you mean, which funny girl? The original funny girl? Of course. They have Barbara Streisand doing funny girl? They go back. And then, obviously, I watched Parade. I mean, that was a big one. Yeah, I, yeah. you know what I also watched here? Equus. Equus. Yeah, wow. on a Valentine's Day date. If you have a theater nerd as a partner and you haven't taken them on a date <laughs> here, you're doing it wrong. You know what I mean? Like, it's so nerdy. So I want to hear about your mom and about how you came to New York City. You're really close to your mom. Very. Yeah. Yeah, she's my best friend. You came here when you were young. Tell me about it. Well, I did a community theater show with Kids Theater. I did Sound of Music. I played Marta with the parasol. And I loved it so much. And we went back and I was in seventh grade and about a month into my seventh grade, she said, do you want to just move? It is all, it's, it's just us. Wow. And I have no siblings and my parents were divorced. and. So we decided to move to New York. Were you we, excited? Was it like an uh, exciting, a scary? It was everything, because I could do more shows with you that same company. Performing. I just wanted to okay. keep doing it. How does your mom feel now, watching what's happening to you? Well, we still live together, and she still sleeps on a pull-out couch. She's thrilled. <laughs> That's amazing. I know. It's a really That's special. That's amazing. So you are really close. So you, wow, you spend a lot of time. <laughs> we do. Wow. We were kind of ships passing in the night. We got tickets for great for tonight. Hey, amazing. I'm so excited. <laughs> oh, good. You I can't wait, wait to the see you there. Time I saw it. So this is the Neil Simon Theater. That was the stage door where you made your Broadway debut. I, and I like doors. I like attaching emotions to doors. For sure. And buildings. <laughs> yeah. Do you have a lot of emotions when you yeah. come by this building? I mean. Yeah, I like remember all the things. All like, the things. All the adrenaline, the lower back pain, everything in between. The sequins. When you were Babe. Yeah. You were, or uh, the young Cher. We had fun telling her story. It was It was a dream. You get to play this woman, a real woman, every night. And you're with Ben Platt. And I know you two worked on this a few years ago, just for a quick reading. So did you establish your Leo and Lucille chemistry back then? We did. Both of us, I think, loved one another and had just so much respect for, I don't know, each other just as people. And we're just cut from the same cloth. We're both like Jewish musical theater nerds. And it's been a real honor to do it with him and have a partner in crime and all of it. And it's so helpful when you're kind of being like thrust out into the big Broadway scene and yeah. to do it with someone is really nice. But suddenly loud as a mortar, there is hope. Here we are. This is my there, face. There, there, there. She. Do you stand here and just like sign playbills, or is this the spot? <laughs> yeah, it is the spot. Actually, that's the door. 
<laughs> I've heard you say before the role of Lucille is like one of the great few handful of great roles for Jewish women in musical theater. But this this role and this story, it's so seeped in history and we're learning that it's more timely than ever. It deals with anti-Semitism and racism. What is it like to dig into this? What's kind of beautiful is it deals with so much tragedy and yet we, me and Ben, get to share this beautiful love story as the backdrop to all of it. And so it allows for us and the audience to feel so much hope. And a lot of people have asked me, like, how do you do a show so dark? But somehow our cast finds all the joy we could find within this story. It feels so important.